All right, welcome to our annual Kicks 1055 CMA prediction show. I am here, I'm Mr. Morning. I'm here with our esteemed panel of uh, experts in country music. And uh, to my right is my co host in the morning, Susie Garcia. Uh, to my left is uh, Linda G, host of the Happy Hour. And uh, right across from me is uh, from uh, our weekends, is Joey Valen. So, welcome, pal. Thank think, you, Mr. Morning. Thank you, Mr. Morning. Mr. Morning. I think we've got a very interesting uh, bunch of categories here. So, let's hop right in and start off with uh, who might win each category. Now, we're going to tell you who's going to win before they win. That's the interesting thing, and then we'll see actually the see what happens. The great thing about this is you can wager and maybe even make money on this. That's <laughs> a great idea. Well, what happens if they don't win? Well, uh -oh, then they uh -oh. got a whole room full of losers. You don't I'll tell you that. You don't know us. <laughs> All right, Female Vocalist of the Year. That's our first category. The nominees are Kelsey Ballerini, Miranda Lambert, Reba McIntyre, Marin Morris, and Carrie Underwood. And let's start with uh, you, Linda. Who I know who Joey Valens is going to pick. Mm. I do know. Okay, so I think... <sighs> Um, I'm going to have to go with Marin Morris, which is what Jolie's going to say. Marin Morris. But um, I think, yeah, I think Marin Morris, she's had a really great year. She's had, had a good year. She, she definitely has. She's had an excellent year. I think there's a lot more to her than just being the vocalist thing. I know that specific category goes with just a vocalist, but I think I'll go with Marin Morris, too. All right. Susie? I think fan favorite, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. See, we're going with, I'm going to go with Carrie as well. Not because Susie went with Carrie, but I just think that uh, the CMAs love her. She's the host every year. I mean, She's it's really, win something. and it's the only category that she really has a shot at winning anything in. So I think they're going to go with Carrie for that. A lot of limelight, too. Without even a, a huge single, she had the NFL yeah. theme and all that yeah. stuff. She's I mean, she's good. America's for, sweetheart. She's yeah. definitely good for country music. All right, male vocalist of the year, our next category. The nominees are Dirks, Eric Church, Thomas Rhett. Chris Stapleton and Keith Urban. This is a very interesting category, Susie. What, what are you thinking? I think it should be Keith Urban, but it will be Thomas Rhett. Mm, mm. We're, we're on the same wavelength here. I don't know. We, Whoa. Have, we have some type of ESPN scary. going on because I think it's ESPN. very scary. Yeah. Be afraid. I ESPN. said the same thing. I said Keith Urban deserves it. He's gotten shut out in all the other mm. awards so far this year. He deserves it. He had an incredible year, but I think Thomas Rhett, his new single now is number one. Uh, I, I, so I don't hot. think you can uh, you can avoid Thomas Rhett in this category, Linda. I think Thomas Rhett, hands down. I I wouldn't even. I, I don't even think anybody else deserves mm. it more than him. I do. I think Thomas Rhett. Okay, Joey. You... The album is incredible, and you know a lot of fanfare around him again. So I think you go with Thomas Rhett. It's a landslide, Thomas. There we go. All right, let's move on. New Artist of the Year. This is a very interesting category. At least it was very interesting to me. You have Luke Combs, Old Dominion, John Party, Brett Young, and Lauren Elena. So many deservings. Yeah, now I think I think a few Lauren Elena, I think you can kind of eliminate because she was about what, one song, I maybe kind of two agree songs, with you. you know. Yeah. Um, Brett Young, I mean, a fantastic year. I know that's close to your heart. Uh, John Party, that song just keeps coming. Yeah. The only reason John Party may not win is if the CMAs have Something against somebody with a with a boot fetish. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way he's not going to win this thing. Uh, could happen. Old Dominion, a good choice, and Luke Combs, still kind of on the newcomer side. Yeah. Maybe next year, but mm -hmm. then again, the CMAs are notorious in this category. Lee Bryce was up for New Artist of the Year for three years running. Yeah. He had two or three albums out already. Yeah, I was going to say still, because even Old Dominion is yeah, really not, not a new, new artist this yeah. year, so they they shouldn't even be in this category. I don't think. But all right. So what are you thinking, Joe? I think we go with Brett Young. He got snubbed at the ACMs, and then he got he never made it to that number one single spot this year. I think I go with Brett Young. John Party is going to be tough to beat, though. Yes. I was saying he is the leader. Yeah, John so we're all kind of, except for Joey, we're all kind of in agreement with John Party. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, I, my vote would always be for Brett Young because I just, I love Brett but Young. But you can't so always go with your but heart here. You have to go with your gut. I understand that. I understand. I, I, think, I think John Party's going to win it. I do. Yeah, I think I think so too. I think he'll finally get recognition and actually get a new pair of boots. Yes. <laughs> do you think he shows up at the CMAs with clean boots on? No, he I can't. Don't think so. he can't. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next category: album of the year. This is always interesting. You have a little big town is up for the breaker. You have Chris uh, Stapleton is up for room uh, room uh, from a room, uh, volume one. You also have Lady A for heartbreak. Uh, you have Jason Isbell and the four hundred unit. For the Nashville sound, and you have the weight of these wings, Miranda Lambert. Now, obviously, an interesting category. Miranda's up up for a nomination here. The album didn't do what they thought it was going to do coming out. Does that affect things? I think Lady A is going to go for it all. You going with Lady A? Album of the year. All right. Forget Miranda. It was right. a big comeback for them, right? It yeah. was a big deal out of the whole the yeah. whole heartbreak thing, and. Yep. 
So forget Miranda, not her year. She didn't sell what they they wanted her to, but I still think Miranda comes out on top with I this do too. one. Really? Yes. Miranda wins this one. The best album in this category wow. is Chris Stapleton's From a Room Volume. Well, yeah, yeah. and I yeah. agree with that too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Chris um, Stapleton really deserves to win this. But the commercial appeal. But I it? totally yeah. think Miranda's going to walk away with this, and it's it's a it's a great album. It, it is really a good is. Album. I mean, it's deserving. And she is a CMA sweetheart. Yes, she is. But I I'm, love her. I'm, I'm gonna. She's sassy. I love her. I'm going to throw my vote in this category to Little Big Town. Because they're very That'll likable. That'll be my second choice. Yes, they are. They're very likable. The CMAs like them. They're, you know, they're just, again, they had a good album, some hits off the album. I'm going to go with Little Big Town for this one. All right, uh, so now we go to Song of the Year, which is different than from Record single. of the Year yeah. from Single of the Year. This is Song <laughs> of the Year. Uh, Better Man, Little Big Town, uh, Blue Ain't Your Color, Keith Urban, Body Like a Back Road, uh, Sam Hunt. Dirt on My Boots, John Party, and Tin Man Miranda. So song is different from single because right. song is the, it's the writers. writers. The writers. So I think so. Body Like a Back Road is going to get single, but song, Blue Ain't Your Color. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go along with Susie on that one. Blue Ain't Your Color. I, had, I was thinking Little Big Town. As a matter of fact, I had it jotted down here, a little mark next to Little Big Town, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Keith Urban because he's, he's lacked a lot of the recognition so far this year. It was an incredible yes, album. Has. It was an incredible Great song. song. And I just think you know Taylor Swift wrote that song, right. Little Big uh, Little Big Town yes. song, right. Better Man, Better Man yeah. right? But I think That's a I think, song, I think yes. Keith Urban they got a shot here at getting Keith an award. I think it might be for this, especially for Song Keith of the Year. Song. I go, I, I agree with you. That's the best song. Again, yeah. I go with Little Big Town and Better Man. They want to get T Swift on camera, and Ooh, good and, point. Got a, you and have a point. That is sing, true. I mean, and the single of the year is definitely Body Like a Back Row, twenty six yeah. weeks at number one. Yeah. I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, I definitely think right. that the single of the year. That's what I said too. Body Like a Back Road for single. Any any change on the single of the year as opposed to song definitely of the year? Definitely Body Like a Back Road. Okay. So wait, let's back up here a second. Song of the year. What are we saying? Song of the year. Basically, I'm saying Keith Urban. Susie? Same. Better Man because t Taylor Swift. Because Taylor Swift. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with dirt, dirt on My Boots. You're going with Dirt on Your Boots? That's what I'm going to go right. with. All yeah. right. Why not? Just to be different. And then Single of the Year, we're doing, what did you say? I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying basically Body Like a Back Road. Road yeah. Sam Hunt. Yeah. It's got to be. It's yeah. a wash. Yeah, it's still on the charts. It's been on the charts. Yeah. He's 26 at number one, 39 on the charts. Exactly. It's Plus insane. it was a big crossover for him. Yeah. Good for country music. And I think you're right. I want to music. just echo your words about getting T Swift on camera because how long has it been since we've seen? Uh, right, I thought, exactly. Oh, right. I thought we were supposed to put our, heart, our hearts into this. We're I not know. supposed to put our hearts. No, but I'm. No, but I didn't. That's not my heart. You that's, just want to see her on on the camera. That's what it is. <laughs> admit not it. Admit it. Uh, Mary Morris is a little bit more my. <laughs> well, yeah, she is. That's true. <laughs> All right, we move on to uh, vocal duo of the year. Um, this is uh, kind of a category that they kind of put people in. Depending, because, you know, vocal duo, there's not that many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have Dan and Shay, Florida Georgia Line, Low Cash, Maddie and Tay, and Brothers Osborne. And this year they're actual groups, though. Yeah, yes. Before they've done, like, right. duets and yeah. things like that. Right. Well, what do you guys say? The, if, if you make it to the Dutchess County Fair... <laughs> <laughs> then you're winning that year. I mean, that's the really so the big time. Brothers so it's the Brothers, Brothers Osborne. Osborne <laughs> over Florida Georgia Line, huh? Florida wow, Georgia Line. That's Nine a million kill. dollars in stadium revenue this year. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think that this. I think they're outgrown this category. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I'm gonna go with Brothers. You Osborne. mean they're bigger than the category? That's tough. They are bigger. That is than, tough. They are though. They are bigger than the category. In this one, I have to agree, Brothers Osborne, because they're gonna get shut out for new artists. So they want to get them something. Vocal duo is a great category to get them something in. Uh, Maddie and Tay, I'm sorry, you know. I know they're you know. adorable. I got yeah. to meet them this year. Yeah, though, I know. At Linda G's yeah. interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're 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 wonderful. They really are. But and Low Cash is fantastic. Uh, Dan and Shay too. But uh, that's it's tough between Brothers Osborne and Florida Georgia Line. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Florida Georgia Line. All right. So second to last category that we're gonna uh, dissect here: Vocal Group of the Year. You have Lady Antebellum, Little Big Town, Old Dominion, Rascal Flats, and the Zac Brown Band. Linda, what, what's your what's your poison here on this one? Well, I know may, uh, I think a lot of people might disagree with me, but I'm going to say Old Dominion. Okay. I'm going to go with Old Dominion. All right. They're a great band. They, they make great songs and they they're do. fun. Uh, there's a lot of those guys in there. They're, you know what? You know what impresses me about them so much is that they're they're new. They're relatively new, and yet they mm. have a medley of hits already. Yeah. 
That's they amazing do. to me. So I go with Old Dominion. I go with Lady A for all the same reasons that Susie picked them for Album of the Year. I think this was a huge year for them, a great mm -hmm. comeback story. They were in all of the limelight, and this is the kind of category that you can give to someone like that. Maybe it wasn't the best music, but it was, you know, them as a group did, performed a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm just, I, I thought Lady A. But I'm I'm gonna take a little big talent in this category mm, as well. It's one or the other just for because, me. Because yeah, because yeah. they seem to just go well in this category. And if they don't get the other award that I mentioned earlier about uh, song of the year, this will be the one they'll get. Man, this is tough. It's one or the other, little big town or Lady A. All right, but you have to pick one. Lady A. Okay, there you <laughs> go. There you go. All right, and finally, the coveted entertainer coveted. of the year. This is the one. This is a very difficult category, folks. Very difficult. Let me tell you, we are we've been we're surrounded by this music, you know, 365 days a year, 24/7, and it's still a tough category yeah. to pick. You have Garth Brooks, you have Luke Bryan, you have Eric Church, you have Chris Stapleton, and you have Keith Urban. Wow, you could almost give you could almost give one to each, each of them. Each of them, yeah, you know? I but agree. We're not we're not part of the wussifying of America here. We're not, not everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> the, the wussifying. <laughs> yeah, not everybody gets a Country trophy. Country music Don't ain't look at wussified. Me. All right, that's right. So so what are you thinking, here? Susie? Let's start off with you. I think Luke Bryan. You going with Luke? All right. You, you, I mean, any one of these could win it. You know who I'm gonna pick? Come on, let's see, let's hear Darth. it. Darth. I know you're gonna pick Garth. Garth, Garth Brooks. He Absolutely. won last year, though, didn't he? Won last he can year. win every year. Okay. He's. Uh, I think it's Garth Brooks. You're taking Garth. Joey. Yeah. This one, I'm going with my heart and Chris Stapleton entertained the hell out of me this year. It's the best concert I saw all summer, Chris Stapleton. You're going to be surprised at my pick here. I'm going to take Chris Stapleton, too. Yeah. Look at that. I'm taking a little Chris. Right little, on. we got power. Chris Stapleton <laughs> Could you power. imagine if Chris Stapleton, what, how amazing that would be for him? Well, they oh, the, so... the CMAs really you know, introduced yeah. us to Chris Stapleton yes, by did. winning. We were like, mm -hmm. Chris Who Stapleton, yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, so I think... He deserves it. He, he does deserve it. He's a good they, ambassador for country music. And they all deserve it, though. Great storyteller. Right, so. I think he deserves yeah. it. So, so there you go. There's our uh, Kicks 105.5 CMA prediction show for this year, for 2017. You know, let the debates begin now because the uh, the predictions have been uh, have been put down and. We're ready to go. Watch Place the show. Place your wagers now. See if what happens. If you lose money, you don't know who we are, and we're yeah. going to disappear. We're running yeah. away. This is us if you lose. <laughs> but if you win, you can thank us later. And thanks to our steam panel, Susie, Linda, Joey. I'm Mr. Morning Kicks 105.5. I hope you enjoy the show. Now let's go watch the CMAs.